All right, Aaron, tell us what we're looking at here right now. Um, tell us what, what we're doing out here. Yeah, hey, Lucas. Uh, hi to everybody on Facebook here live today. Uh, what we have here, uh, this is a farm uh, that I primarily manage for, for quail. Had a large reed canary grass waterway. The, the entire field around it is in CRP. Uh, up the watershed is all in grass. And really, reed canary grass from a quail perspective, uh, is unusable habitat. It's a it's a it's a very tall, thick grass uh, that's undesirable for for quail. Uh, so what I came in here and did is I, I I've sprayed out this entire five acre grass waterway uh, uh, to basically eliminate the reed canary grass. It's probably going to take some additional treatments. I did treat one side here with glyphosate this spring. The other half with a grass selective herbicide and didn't do as well. But as you can see, this has come back in ragweed and, and other forbs. There's bare ground underneath, which really creates ideal conditions for, for quail. And, and, and if, a, if a landowner had something like this on their property, uh, this is where a private land conservationist could come in and help develop a, a plan to make this better habitat for quail, but also minimize any er erosion by following a process. All right, Aaron, where can... Uh, where can uh landowners and everyone else learn more about uh, getting in contact with a PLC or anything like that? Yeah, great question, Lucas. Uh, just go on the mdc.mo.gov uh, uh, webpage. Uh, in the upper right-hand corner, there's contact information, and you can scroll down to your county and find out who the private land conservationist is in your county. Or you can just continue to watch Habitat Hints. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Aaron, and thank you for all tuning in today. You all have a great rest of the afternoon.